I'll guide you through how to post a full picture on Instagram. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. Firstly, I want to show you what I'm experiencing. So when I go and click on the post button at the bottom of Instagram and I try and post this entire picture, as you can see when I pinch it, it's actually quite a lot longer than what Instagram actually lets me post. As you can see, it just doesn't let me zoom out anymore. And I want to include this whole picture. So we can actually go and get around this, but to do this, we are going to go and require an app. So what we need to do is go and close off Instagram like so, and go and either open up the app store or the play store or whatever store your phone has. And the app we want is something called SquareFit. Now you don't have to use this app here, but essentially what it is, is a photo editing tool. So you can use other apps, but I just like to go and use this app here. So once you've got it, go and open it up just like this. And there is a premium option. Personally, I use the free version. So I'll tap on the cross in the top left. And now here we are on the app. So what you want to do is go to the bottom left and go and tap on new like this. And then you can choose a video photo or clear. In this case, I want to use a photo. Then what you need to do is go and select the photo you want to go and post on Instagram without it being cropped. So in this case, it's this one here. So as you can see, we've now got this here. And what you now want to do is go and position how you want the photo to be posted. So one thing I do want to do is go and remove these black bars. So I'm gonna go and slightly pinch it using my fingers. Just use two fingers and pinch in. So that's what I want to go and post on Instagram. And what you can do is go and adjust the size of the canvas. At the moment, it's in the ratio one by one, which means the sides and the length are exactly the same. So click on canvas and you can go and change that if you'd like. And then what you can also do is scroll along and there's a few more options as well. For example, you've got frames, so you could go and add a frame if you like. But I like to go and keep it quite simple, so I'm gonna go and press on uh, nothing and then tick. So once you're happy with your image, then what you can do is go to the top right and go and tap on save like this, and it then says square foot would like to add your photos. Tap okay, and it's now gone and saved it. So now what you can do is go and close off the square foot app or the photo editing app you're using, and you can go back to Instagram, and then what we can do is go and tap on the post button at the bottom like this. And then just like that, we've now got the image we just went and sort of changed the position of, and we can now go and post this full thing. So I like to go and have the white borders because then it fits on Instagram like pretty naturally. So then what we can do is tap on next in the top right, tap on next again, and then okay. And then what I'm going to do is go and paste it just like that. And it will take a moment to post. And then as you can see, that is how it looks. And that's perfect. It's got the full image. So if you guys found this useful, please consider leaving a like. Peace.